I'm Eddie Cannell. And I'm Steve Perez. Welcome, everyone. This is the Mortgage Brothers Podcast Show, and today is Monday, August 8th. And this is your interest rate update. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, comment, and like. We do this Monday through Friday, and Tom is out of the office today, and actually all week, Steve Perez is filling in. He's our head lead loan officer here for the team, and so Steve's going to be with me doing the update. Right off the bat, we have the 30-year fix, Steve, right? It's everything across the board. The 30-year fix is 4.875. The 15-year fix is 4.25. And just like last week, the 30-year fixed FHA and VA products are both coming in at four and a half. So the same interest rates uh, as last week for everything. Right. Not every not every day goes up or not every day goes down. Some days like today, we have sideways movement in the market. That's right. Today, okay, so as always, these quotes come with no points. There's no extra mm-hmm. buy-down fees, no extra fees. These are the loan uh, scenario assumptions. So for conventional loans, FHA and VA that we quote here, they're based off of these assumptions that, you know, for example, on a conventional loan, this is their primary resident, primary residence, their mm-hmm. credit score of 740, loan amount at 400, the loan of value is 75%. That, that means 25% down. Right. And uh, so, again, go ahead. And, and the same for, for FHA, we have our, our baseline assumptions. Uh, for, for the government products, we have a credit score a minimum of, of, of 680 in this case. Um, our sales price for FHA was 360 and a loan amount of 347. Uh, of course, FHA loans can go higher than that 347, but this is just a, a baseline uh, example. That's right. And remember, a lot of our competition, a lot of our banks are charging points mm-hmm. when they're quoting you rates. They may be showing you a 4.875, but they're showing you, but they're also going to be having a lot of points there, and it's hard to to actually decipher that. And if you do subscribe, you'll notice that we go, if you start, if you subscribe to the channel, you'll notice that we go through a lot of the loan estimates that really show you where to find those points. That's good. Yeah. If you're a, if you're a borrower um, or in the market to purchase or refinance a home here in the Arizona, um, in the state of Arizona, send us your LE. If you think maybe there's uh, there's something um, we could do better. I'd, I'd like to take That's a right. That. C- call us and email us. We'll, yeah. we'll review it. So coming this Wednesday, August 10th, is the inflation report. Inflation has been something, it's it's always, every every month there's the inflation report. But never, never before has, I think, inflation been, well, let me just stick that back. We haven't been focusing on inflation for about 12 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we really, as far as our economy, we, I mean, unless you're an an economist or an analyst and you're really following it closely, I think the American people have not followed inflation since the last Great Recession. Agreed, yes. So every month the inflation report comes out. And now it's just moving the markets. It's moving interest rates. And the expectation is that that, uh, inflation will be about 8.8 to 9.1%. Last month it was 9.1%. So they're so the analysts are expecting more or less the same, hmm. um, and if it's higher, I mean, like, what do you think is going to happen, Steve? If if, if inflation is higher, I think the risk of a negative reprice goes considerably higher. As a matter mm-hmm. of fact, if if we were to take a look at all of the dates where the CPI data was released, we would see an exact correlation of that day a negative reprice in effect because consistently we've shown our numbers of inflation have been growing. Yeah. So that translates to higher interest rates. Higher interest rates. <laughs> and uh, and your 401k will probably lose value that day too. I think that all of the stock market w- would go down. I think all the equity markets are going to, uh, you know, would plunge if we see higher inflation. Um, if there, and of course, if it's the opposite, if we see lower inflation, which a lot mm-hmm. of people do think we're kind of turning the corner on, right. on inflation. Right. Um, Again, these everything's kind of baked in. Mm-hmm. The stock market numbers that you see, kind of the you know, it's been rallying lately. The lower, a little bit lower interest rates. I mean, it's telling, telling us that the analysts, the Wall Street traders, mm-hmm. are kind of expecting us to continue kind of turning that corner and get improving our inflation. I think. Okay. So all eyes on Wednesday. That's, that's Wednesday. We'll um, be sure to subscribe, comment, and like. We're going to be back tomorrow with another interest rate update. Take care, everybody. Have.
Have a good one. Thank you, everyone, for watching our show today. If you have questions, be sure to email us at rates at azmortgagebrothers.com and be sure to take a look at all of our other videos on our channel.